most of people William here so I decided to make a video on this topic because I feel this is a problem that many BMW owners may have dealt with and don't know how to figure it out maybe or and don't know how bad it can be for their engine so I was getting these codes right here which is P0015 P0012 which is regarding the intake and exhaust camshaft solenoids 2A2887 2A82 which relates to the vinyl solenoids as you can see it's talking this codes they refer to the solenoids being jammed so what happens to this is that this codes the majority of people they think oh the vinyl solenoids is not providing enough oil to this to to the um, to the intake and exhaust vinyls that a lot of times it can be the case but what I have what I have found out and what I found in my car after changing out solenoids one after the other and switching out and cleaning filters and everything was this so as you can see right here this is the oil filter cap the oil filter cap has this insert in the inside this insert which was missing in my oil filter cap completely missing so I bought the car used and it seems the previous owner may have taken it to one of those chain oil change places and what happens is most likely those guys went and they threw this insert right here away what happens is this insert is there to one hold the oil filter and prevent it from collapsing and two to seal up the drain back into the crankcase this is how it works this insert right here it holds the filter but also when you are going to change the oil in your m52 m54 m62 whatever engine you might have you take off the oil filter you take off the cap and this thing which is normally sealing up it comes off and as it comes off it is going to uncover this hole right here which i'm going to show you this hole as you may see when you're going to change the oil in your bmw this oil hole is always empty there's no oil in there why because this oil hole drains back into the oil pan okay so normally when the oil filter cap is in there with the insert that hole is sealed up so no oil is draining back to the crankcase the oil just comes in through here to number two which is the unfiltered oil from the oil pump it filters out around the filter and then it goes back it goes into into inside the filter and it goes through number one into the engine now this is where the problem comes in if the, the shop throws away your center insert right here this cage and the insert what's going to happen is you're not going to have the seal in the middle in number three which is going to lead to oil being drained back into the oil pan and not getting inside, inside your engine now how can this cause a, ban a balance code this is it the reason why that can cause a final code is right here let me show you as you can see right here the oil is supposed to go it's being pulled with the oil from the oil pump all the way to the oil filter housing to the filter is getting filtered and then ideally it will go into the system to the timing chain tensioner and to the to the vinyl system to lubricate the engine as well everything if you have this 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 thing is not sealing up if it's not sealing up the drain back to the crankcase oil pressure is being is leaking itself down into a hole so essentially what you're doing is recycling the oil you're pulling oil out of the engine and the oil is being sent back into the oil pan not going into your engine now as you can see right here this is where the the oil comes out from the oil pan this is a check valve which basically it pulls oil out but it doesn't let it go back down this is where the this is where the oil is pulled from then it gets filtered and it comes out of these two holes filter oil and it goes into the engine through this hole this third hole is the center the center hole in the um, in the oil in the oil filter housing which you can see right here number one is the filter oil supposed to go into the engine if you if this thing is not sealed up if the insert is missing oil pressure is leaking down back into the oil pan instead of going into your engine your engine is not going to blow the fuck up because guess what this hole is so small that only so much oil can be fucking can be pushed back into the engine but still you're not getting the right oil pressure because guess what this is where the oil this is where the oil pressure sensor on the m52 oil filter housing is it is before it gets to the oil filter so to the engine it is getting the right oil pressure 
because this sensor is before the filter. The filter is getting the right pressure. What is not getting the right pressure is the inside of your engine, which is going to be after that hole. Now, at first I didn't grasp it, but all that oil, all the all that oil pressure that's building off of after the filter, the engine thinks that it's operating normally. A lot of it is going to be draining back here, and just a portion of it is going to be actually getting into, into the engine. The only reason you will know that this is happening is when you start getting these vanos codes, because the vanos needs a really high a really high volume of oil. As a matter of fact, the M52 engine has a barrel of oil pump because of how much oil the vanos system takes. If it, if it didn't have that barrel of oil pump, it would need to be three times as big. The, the way you find out that you need that somebody took the thing out is you get your oil change. And then right after there, you start getting vanos codes and everything. These kind of codes. I would recommend if you get vanos codes, the first thing you check is to see if you have that cap in there. Because if you don't have that cap and the insert inside, you're gonna have problems. Your engine is not getting the proper lubrication, you're driving it hard. Guess what? Your engine is gonna blow the fuck up. It's not the first time that's happened. A lot of people think that this thing can cause that. Guess what? I have eaten up every single TSB engine manuals, all that crap for the BMW M5X engines, and this is it. This thing drains the back the oil. Purpose of this is when you take off the oil filter to drain the oil out of the engine, it allows you to drain the oil filter because this is always full of oil. That's the reason why. If Now, to prove myself, because a lot of people believe that this can happen, that that thing just controls pressure for the crankcase or some bullshit. No, this thing, is, this thing is a drain for the oil filter when you're doing an oil change. If you don't, if you have that, that hole open, you're leaking oil pressure down into the, in your oil pan. Let me prove myself. Here we have a service bulletin, which is going to talk about the oil filter cap and the insert. The oil filter cap insert may have been a better move. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, you can, I guess, can pause the video and read it. It tells you that if this insert has been removed, you can have banos problems. But of course, to cover their ass, they don't tell you it can also have oil pressure problems. But looking through the manual, looking through all the manuals, I saw on the N62, which is the VNW V8, which is a very similar system to the N62 and the N54 as well. As you can see here, the oil filter housing with two O rings is threaded into the rear of the oil pump cover through an opening in the oil stump. The opening in the oil stump that they're talking about is this opening right here. Let me go and get it. That little opening right there, which is the drain. That's what the two O rings are talking about seal. Drain plug is integrated into the oil filter housing for draining the filter assembly so the housing is removed. That drain plug is going to be what they're referring to as this right here. That is a drain plug. On the cars that have these two O rings right here, those two O rings is because, as it says here, some of them have a system in the cap where overpressure can actually get sent back into the oil pan. To, to to have it drain back into the oil so you're not over pressurizing the, the engine that but most cars don't have this that that should let you know that in fact the purpose of these two o-rings is to seal up a drain to the to the oil to the oil sample let me go prove myself as i said i will here you have the oil it pulls it pulls it off from the from the oil pump goes to the filter housing and it goes here i could not find a diagram of the oil drain back because that should never happen but here you have the NC, the M52 oil system which is the same as the N20 that's the M55, M53, M54 they're all the same crap you can see oil gets pulled through here then it goes from here into the vinyl system same thing with the M55 it's all the same, all the same system and as you can see, I was, as I was going to say, the reason why you don't get a low oil pressure code is because the oil pressure sensor is right here before the oil goes through the filter. That's the problem. So I would highly recommend if you're having vinyls issues, vinyls codes, car has low on power, check that. Especially if you don't do your own oil changes or if you bought a used car. Because I bought this car and looked at the previous owner used to take it somewhere 